Okay, this is a test I'm doing um, to show you how to make a, um, a page with more than one photo on it. Um, in this case, I'm going to put four on. Um, let's see. First thing we want to do is open up the word processor. So uh, I'm going to open up Microsoft Word. I'm just call it test. Now, you may not use Word, you may use Kingsoft or one of those other ones, uh, in which case you'll open up that. So open up the, open up the, uh, the processor, the Word processor, and the best thing to do, I reckon, is in the beginning, is to click Page Layout, and click Margins, and click Narrow. That'll make the page bigger so you can fit more on there. That'll make the margins less. And make the page bigger okay that's you may not have that in whatever program you're using so in that case you will just adjust your margin somehow or other you've got to work that out yourself okay now next we'll just minimize that well that's another one that's up as well um, here I've already got four pages ready or four photos ready uh, where did I put it I think it's in there yes there it's there I've got four pictures here. Now these pictures would normally take up a full page. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit that over in the edge like that, and then we're going to open up our uh, Microsoft Word again, and we're going to make that a bit smaller just so that we can see these four ones on the side. See how that? I'll just make the uh, make that smaller. Now, first of all, we drag the picture onto here. Like that now it's taken up the full page right so what we do we click on it somewhere there and when you do that you'll see these corners open up so get that corner there and just make it smaller to about a quarter of the size of the it's best to actually make it a little bit smaller than half because you can resize it up bigger later on but you're not sure your margin i'm going to make it real small like that and i'll adjust that later on then the next one i'm going to drag across here put it beside there whoops now that's too big it won't go beside there but it's too big so what I'm gonna do that's my dear wife there you can see gorgeous now I can't show it yes I can there's the side there so just pull that down like that to it's small and about there you'll probably find it'll pop up the top in which it has done now we want to make that bigger because that photo was taken with the camera turned sideways it's more wider than the other one but that's all right it still fits in there okay that's all right now we've got one these two will probably be the same put that here that's huge i think that's a wide one again yes it is so again you've got to resize that down till it's smaller yes that's a wide these are all wide ones the camera from the side one we have to make this pretty small to be able to fit it in. And we'll drag the last one over there. Where is it? It's gone on to the next page, I think. Yes, it has. So we're going to have to make that really, really small. So we just keep dragging. I hope you can see all this. Half of it is probably out of focus. What happened then? Oh, it's gone up there. That's right. Okay. It's really spread them about a bit, hasn't it? So, the one which we're going to make smaller, I don't know where that one come from. One, two, three, four. That must be this one here. That's better. Uh, It's a little bit awkward here because all the pictures are different sizes, different angles. But in a perfect world, you'd have them all taken with the same camera. These are from different cameras and, and phones, so they're of different sizes. I should have been more organized there. But you can see that now I've got four of them fitted on the same page. And it's good to try and put a gap between there. So you've got to click here somewhere. Get just in between there somehow. Should just click in between there. I'm not, it's not going to let me. No, it's not going to let me. Uh, 
really need to get a space in between those pitches. Mm. How can we do that? I thought if I just click there, it's not going to let me. Oh, yes, it is. So it is letting me. I'm pressing the space bar. So I've clicked in between there. And I should do the same here. Yeah, that's all you got to do. Okay, so that's got a space between them. This one's got too big of a space, but we, we can make this one bigger. We can see how much more room that other one's got to go over. It still has not met the side of the other. It still can go over further, see that? So I can make this one bigger till it comes up to there. You can play around with it for sure. Now we've got them pretty much equal. Probably you might want to make that one a bit smaller just for, for neatness and bring them so he lines up with that one. You get the drift? So what we do first is we open up a word processor and then we drag the pictures in here from out the side there and we put them here and then we resize them until they fit on the page. And that's about it. Now you should be able to if you wanted, you could probably fit more in. Let's try and drag some more in down there. We might get six on there. Let's get six of the first, the nice square one. That first one was the best square one. So we'll drag some more of them here. And of course, that'll be down the bottom for the next page. Oh. Didn't go to the next page. So you can, again, so this is going to actually get six on the same page. This is really cool and we'll drag another one of them actually we should be able to drag this one is it that one yeah and that will be down the bottom we've got to again we've got to uh, resize that See, that's worked out good. That's got, uh, now we'll just maximize this. Now, at the moment, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pictures on the same page, and that's only one page. We've still got room for more. So it just depends how big you want to make them and how small you want to make them to be able to get X amount of pictures on the same page. All righty. We could play around with it some more and make them wider. But that's okay for starters. So what do we got to do? We drag the pictures from over here. We drag them from there into here, then resize them one at a time. And then when we've done that, we put our little thing between the center there and we press the space bar and put a gap between them. And to put the gap between these ones, you, you just adjust it. Actually, yeah, it's not put much against that. To do that, we'd have to click over here on the right hand side and just press the enter button. And that's put a big space in, see? Okay, you'll work it out. And then save it and print it. Save it there, the save button. Or you can click file, save, or save as up here. Okay, so that's it. Let's see how you go.